there was a lot of work that needed to be done to address the culture, the way, what was deemed acceptable by, you know, the dialogue from our managers, our coaches, our players, um, the comments we would make, um, and the, the conversation that I was asked to lead was not specifically about uh, um, embracing or accepting the LGBT community. It was about how we talk to women in the workplace, uh, how do we talk to each other, you know, pe respecting each other's religion, people of color. Uh, you know, we're all a different part of that spectrum. Nobody is be above or below anyone else. And, you know, as a sport of Jackie Robinson, I think baseball really wanted to take a deeper dive into um, the message that was coming to our players. They are our greatest ambassadors and sometimes uh, good and sometimes not. And a lot of that was because there was never any education that was uh, put in front of them. And I think it has to start at the top with our leadership and our owners. And uh, they have been so uh, supportive of the intention of, of where we wanted to take baseball to. Um, the scale of baseball is so much bigger than the NFL or NBA or NHL. Um, we have a minor league system that dwarfs any other sport. And so the, the sheer volume of players makes that a challenge um, that is at times daunting because we, you know, we draft 1200 new players every year and 1200 new uh, other players are asked to leave. And um, you know, some of our teams have eight levels of minor league baseball now. And, you know, that's a lot of teams and a lot of athletes and a lot of, different perspectives and cultures clashing. Um, but for us, uh, over the past five years, we have uh, we've created a couple of wonderful education programs. One's called Ahead in the Count. Uh, I started a uh, bullying prevention program uh, partnering up with ESPN called Shred Hate um, that allows us to have some consistency in the messages uh, and build a team to uh, get in front of the players um, and let them know straight up, you know, this is the message coming from baseball. And if you want to be a part of it, um, we hope that you make this a consideration because at the end of the day, um, the, the people that we want representing our sport, um, by and large, are going to be ambassadors of this message. And I think the sooner that we get in front of them and let them know what their employer uh, uh is conveying to their fans, to their employees in the front office and all their stakeholders, then we are going to have a unified message of uh, acceptance and one that really fosters uh, an inclusive workplace um, moving forward. It's never been ever more of a priority than it is now because of the way our fans uh, have come to expect uh, what baseball should represent. And I'm glad that that bar is high. We, we have to be better all the time, all the time.